town was moved for good for the land that conquered death and the generals from the tombs
Jesus bled and suffered for my pardon. And he was raised to overthrow the grave. To this I hold, my sin has been defeated. Jesus now and ever is my plea. Oh, the chains are released. I can see I am free and not I, but through Christ in me. Good morning. On behalf of all of us at Concordia University, Texas, welcome to our service of commencement. We are excited to celebrate this accomplishment with our graduates and their families. As we begin our service today, our graduates and faculty will process into the auditorium, followed by our opening invocation by campus pastor, Reverend Jake Besslin.
Good morning and welcome to the 2022 winter graduation for Concordia University, Texas. Graduates, you made it! Woo! You feel amazing, I hope. You came in this university with a whoosh. Let's hear you full circle on the count of three graduates. Give this audience the biggest whoosh of all time. One, two, three. Whoosh. There are so many people in this crowd that love you, that support you. All the faculty and the staff and the leadership and the board of directors and the parents and the grandparents and your children and all kind of people. Graduates, would you find them right now in the crowd and give them a big yeah, thank you. And I'd invite everyone now to stand as we ask the Lord to be in this place. If you would stand. Let us pray. God, you are here in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we are thankful. Oh God, what is life? That you would be mindful of all of us. You made us in your image and redeemed us. We are grateful through Jesus Christ, your Son. You value us as big as the chasm created by sin leading to death, that you would redeem us to everlasting life. Thank you for your grace, your mercy shown to all people. May this time this morning be marked by celebration of well-deserved accomplishments, rejoicing from long days of studying coming to an end after we pass our finals, and gratitude for so many who have believed in us, and yet for some mourning the loss of those who are no longer here to celebrate with us, and a reminder that you are the author and the perfecter of our faith. This morning and always, with that diploma, all glory, all honor be to you, one and only God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. I invite you to take a seat. Good morning. I'm Dr. Maggie Landemeyer, and on behalf of the Board of Regents of Concordia University, Texas, it is my honor to bring you greetings and wish you Godspeed as graduates of this institution. This year's theme reflects the age-old question pursued by thinkers and philosophers across the ages. What is life? Concordia answers this question in a variety of ways, as evidenced by our mission statement of empowering students to think critically, act compassionately, and lead courageously. Most important, we know that life, abundant life, comes through Jesus. Listen to the words of scripture, John chapter 10, verses seven through 14, as Jesus describes himself as the good shepherd who brings abundant life. Jesus again said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. This is the word of the Lord. Good morning. I'm Don Christian, president of this wonderful institution, Concordia University, Texas. And it is my honor and pleasure today to introduce our speaker, the Reverend Dr. Gerard Bowling. He is a pastor, he is an educator, he is an orator, 
and he's an all-around amazing individual. He has his Bachelor of Arts in Theater, he has a Master's of Divinity, and a Doctorate of Education in Leadership and Innovation. He was born and raised in New York City and currently resides in St. Louis, Missouri. He holds two full-time roles. Tells you a little bit about this gentleman. He is a lead pastor at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, an inner city church in St. Louis, and he is a full-time faculty for Concordia University, Texas, where he teaches courses in religion and leadership, primarily online. He is fluent in sign language. He is recognized as an authority and a leading voice, perhaps even a prophetic voice, in the area of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, especially within the church. And he is one of my favorite people. I could tell you all kinds of stories about him. His colleagues behind me and sitting among you could tell you all kinds of stories about him. But it is the stories that students would tell you about him that would truly tell you the type of person Reverend Dr. Gerard Bowling really is. He cares deeply. He loves fully, and he has a passion for sharing the gospel of Jesus with people from all backgrounds. Dr. Bowling, would you join me up here for a word of prayer as we introduce you to speak to this group? <laughs> Father, you bless your people with gifts unbelievable. We thank you for this gentleman that you have blessed him with gifts to share those gifts with our students, with his colleagues, and with the world. Bless his words as he speaks to, in, and with us, so that what he says will inspire us to go lead lives of service in your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Reverend Dr. Gerard Bowling. Well, 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 we find ourselves here together at the end of a journey and the beginning of something more. First and foremost, before I begin, I have to say congratulations to the class of 2022. <laughs> And we are so proud of you and what you've done and what you continue to do. And we're so excited for what happens next in your life. Hopefully 2022 is not 2022. <laughs> you know, I had to throw a little joke in there, right? You get it? Do you get it? Okay. Welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you to Dr. Christian and, and, and Dr. Kirk and for our Board of Regents and, and our faculty, our staff, everyone here, friends and family gathered and also the class here in front of us. Um, we're so excited that you're here today. And if you allow me to steal a few moments before you walk across that stage, I think I have a word for you. Give me one second. keys. Everybody know what these are? We'll do the ASMR too on the mic. Hold on. A ring of keys tells a story that has thousands and thousands of words that are captured inside of it. Keys. Keys are opportunity. Keys are access. Keys so often are ignored, but keys allow us to open doors that previously we had no access to. A set of keys. But so often, our set of keys that we receive don't look like this. They look like this. got to get a full view, okay? The set of keys that we've been dealt, the set of keys that some of us, or more than who you even think around you, that we've been dealt, do not look the same as this set of keys. 
Instead, uh, we have a plastic set of keys that were given to some of us. This plastic set of keys represents barriers, challenges in race, class, background, and all the different things that you're dealing with on an individual level. Things that people have tried to intentionally rob you of. Things that people told you they're gonna give you access and it's gonna look like this, but it's actually like this. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Okay, I don't know about y'all, but in my church, we, we say, I know what you're talking about. We speak back, we go back and forth. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know you want your degree, but you ain't gonna get it unless you wake up. <laughs> and pass the finals. I put that in there too, okay? The keys that we've been dealt, we told each other that we would get something like this. We were told by others we'd get something like this, but all too often, we're getting something like this. There's setbacks and there's challenges and there's pushbacks and there's a lack of access for each and every person in the room. If you don't know what that feels like, you will know what that feels like. This plastic set of keys that we've been handed, all these different things that seek to, to push us down, they were given into our hands to trick us into thinking that we had something that we did not have. And at the end of the day, graduates of 2022, it's just a symptom of our sinful nature. The world desires to take away, the world desires to trick us, the world desires for us to have a plastic set of keys when they know darn well we need one of these. There we go, right? Let's wake up. And here's the thing. The life that one of our regents just talked about, the life that Jesus promises to each and every one of us, that abundant life, it doesn't deal with a fake set of keys that have empty promises within them. It's not a plastic set of keys to open a proverbial door one day for you, but instead, what Jesus does is when there seems to be no way, Jesus says, I am the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. Nobody can come to the Father except through me. Follow me, Jesus says. Take up my cross. Come behind me. This is important words for you, graduate, because Jesus is showing us his way. He's shown you already here in your faith formation. But as you leave from this place, don't you dare let God's hands let go of you. And just so you know it, he would never do that to you in the first place. Because that's not who he is. My brothers and sisters, there is work to be done in this world. And some speakers would tell you, you're the answer. You're the key. You can do it. Believe in yourself. I'm not going to tell you any of that. You don't have the answer. But you serve a God that does. You're not the key but he's using you as the key. The world hands you this, and Jesus gives you this. And class of 2022, may I be deadly serious to tell you that you have work to do. You have generational chains to break. Some of you have already broken those. You have work to do. You have access to provide to other people who are behind you, children that you are raising, that you went to bed late at night and you kissed them and you put them to sleep. You need to make sure they make it across this stage too. You have work to do. You have work to do. You have a future to change and to shape here. You, you have people to heal with your hands that God has blessed you with. You have an abundant life to live, but only through the work of Jesus Christ. It's access. And that life is not made of plastic. That life is real. That life is tangible. That life is from our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Allow me to have a Lizzo moment now. <laughs> and instead of talking all about me and, and, and accomplishments that I've done, I want to lift you up and show what God has done through you. 
and show you what you already have within yourselves that God's cultivating that provides access to the rest of what God has for you next. There's a few of you I want to highlight. Uh, one of you being Stephen Corsi, who's not with us today. He's an online student. When Stephen was 22 years old, he finished his undergrad degree, and he swore that he would get a master's degree. But for forever, it felt like it was impossible. See, he was working full-time teaching, and he was coaching full-time. He was putting in 80 to 90 hours a week looking after two kids, also trying to cultivate a relationship with his wife and trying to drink water and do all the other things that we need to do as people. But when he saw that Concordia had an online MED program in coaching, he was so excited that he'd finally be able to achieve what he always wanted, a master's degree that would take him to the next level in his field. It was hard. He says there were late nights, nights he stayed up so late and woke up so early the next day to complete coursework. But it was because of the love and the support of the professors around him that today, Stephen will be Stephen M.E.D. from the College of Education, and he will receive that master's degree in sports and coaching. Real keys. Real keys that come and are birthed through hardship, through stories that you never knew about the person who sat in class next to you. I want to highlight two sisters today, Astrid and Maria Durate Erazo. Would you please stand up if you're here? I'm going to read this about them. Stay standing, stay standing. This is you. This is, you, this is my Lizzo moment. We just said this, right? I'm going to read this about them, and I couldn't say it any better or rephrase it any better than what you wrote, so I'm going to read your exact words that you messaged to me. My name is Astrid Irazo, and I am graduating with my Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing. As a first-generation college graduate, a Latina, and a senior airman for the Air Force Reserves. Getting my BSN after all these years of challenging work, it feels like my dreams have come true. Then Maria says, my name is Maria, and I'm graduating with my Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I am a DACA recipient from Mexico City. a first-generation graduate, and I am so thrilled to not only represent myself, but my family, my culture, and all the Latinas who are in this high-demand field of nursing and striving for more. Concordia University and its faculty made us both feel supported in every step of the way on this journey, and they were a huge help in making all of our dreams come true. We will be working as nurses in the cardiac ICU at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, the top hospital in the world. Somebody say something. Many people travel to this hospital from all over the world because of all the medical services that can be offered in hopes of providing them with some innovative, state-of-the-art, evidence-based care. Having an opportunity to work with some of the sickest patients is what is one of the hardest moments in a person's life, and we are humbled to have this rewarding experience for the rest of our careers. The skills we gained at Concordia will help us in the ICU as nurses to the best of our abilities. We want to thank our family, our professors, our clinical instructors, the faculty at Concordia, and everyone else who helped us to reach this milestone. Would you one more time give me another big hand clap and join me in celebrating Astrid and Maria. Through hardship and difficulty, they did it. And lastly, if Natalie Cardenas is in the house, would you please stand up? Give him a little wave to the side, right? 
Natalie was a senior in high school when she started to develop a habit of napping. This doesn't seem like it is a big deal to the naked eye, but this became a very serious medical issue for Natalie over time. In fact, she began to sleep so much that during the day, she was finding she was only awake for four to five hours. And what she found in going to medical professionals was that it wasn't some kind of distraction or being in college that made her do this, but instead she was diagnosed with narcolepsy. And at that moment of being diagnosed, Natalie had a choice. She could say, well, it seems to be that it's impossible for me to finish my degree. It seems to me that perhaps this disease will take over me and maybe I should just let it take its course. I don't have a future. Maybe I, I can't do what I set out to do. But instead, and but by the grace of God, Natalie continued her degree path. And because of the love and support of professors here at Concordia, her family, and her friends, she is graduating today with a degree <laughs> in biology. And it's only the beginning for Natalie, as she hopes, my fingers and toes are crossed for you when you told me this, she hopes that Duke University will welcome them, her into their program next fall to be able to study with them. You may be seated. Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep and I come to bring them life, life that is abundant access. You're going to come across this stage today and grab a diploma, but what you're really grabbing is a set of keys. Access to something more, to a future that's bigger than what you ever imagined. But don't you dare think that you go by yourself. Jesus is the one that leads you and guides you, and he will continue to do his work to completion. And the best is yet. That didn't sound too confident. <clears throat> and the best is yet to come. Class of 2022, congratulations. Can't wait to see you grab your keys.
Good morning. I'm Dr. Christy Kirk, and I have the privilege of serving here as Provost and Executive Vice President. I'm also a proud alumnus of Concordia, and I'm remembering a day in December a few years ago um, when I sat where you sat, and I um, want to be among the first to welcome you to the Concordia alumni community. I'm privileged to have you, students, and you, families, join us today as we celebrate this important occasion in the lives of our students, and we thank God for his direction in our lives. One of my roles as provost is to get to celebrate our faculty. In addition to our full-time faculty who you see behind me today, many of them, Concordia also employs a cadre of adjunct professors who do not work full-time for Concordia University, Texas, and yet they bring their rich professional experience and their love of teaching and their love of you, our students, into our classrooms. In recognition of these adjunct faculty who contribute to our mission, to our vision, to our values, each year the Concordia community presents two outstanding adjunct award, awards, one to a member of our undergraduate faculty and one to a member of our graduate faculty who model servant leadership and excellence in teaching. I have the pleasure today of presenting the award to the member of our undergraduate faculty, selected by her peers and for students as the recipients of this year's outstanding adjunct award to Professor Julie Strihan. Professor Strihan, please join me at the podium. Teaching in both our College of Education as well as our leadership program, Professor Strihan strives, serves in many capacities at Concordia, including serving as a university supervisor for students completing their professional semester in student teaching. Perhaps that's some of you out there today. Professor Strihan is recognized for providing support to both students and to her fellow adjuncts and faculty, for mentoring and supporting students, providing quality feedback to help them develop their skills as educators. This year, in addition to her education classes, Professor Strihan has taken on two leadership courses, working closely with faculty in both the education and leadership areas to ensure that our capstone course in vocational leadership adequately prepares our graduates as they go into their careers in teaching. In addition, this year, when one of our colleagues wasn't able to teach another leadership class, Professor Strihan stepped in at the last minute and did that responsibility well. Professor Strahan is an invaluable member of the teacher education department at Concordia, going above and beyond the expectations of an adjunct professor in dedication to her students and commitment to professional excellence. Professor Strahan, thank you for being an ongoing example of Concordia's mission, demonstrating both excellence and care in our classrooms. On behalf of Concordia University, Texas, and all those present here today, particularly your students, we congratulate, congratulate you on this award and thank you for your service. The recipient of our Graduate Outstanding Adjunct Award is not able to be with us this morning, but I am pleased to recognize Dr. Brian Malachuk as the recipient of this award. You can clap for him. <laughs> Dr. Malachuk is retired from a pr prestigious career in Texas special education, most recently as Executive Director of Special Education for Katy Independent School District. In addition to his work in school systems, Dr. Malachek has taught as a member of the Concordia University faculty for over 18 years, has worked with graduate students in special education and educational leadership, and has served as a dissertation chair in our Doctorate of Education program. He is recognized by our students as creative, engaging, supportive, and a true model of professionalism in education. So on behalf of Concordia University and all those present, I thank Dr. Malachek for his service to our students and to the realm of public education in the state of Texas. And one final recognition of our faculty today. One of the privileges of working in higher education is getting to be with colleagues, to be colleagues with faculty members who have impacted generations of Concordia alumni. Today, we take a moment to recognize one of those colleagues upon his retirement and on his achievement of the rank of faculty emeritus. Dr. Chris Winkler retires this week after 30 years, 34 years of dedicated service to Concordia University, Texas. Dr. Winkler has served in roles as, as varied as resident director, dean of students, associate provost, and his current role as senior director of the College of Education, where he has had instrumental roles in leading and creating and the ongoing excellence 
of our master's and doctorate programs in education. Chris has been a steady presence, a willing colleague, and an ongoing personification of Concordia's commitment to, a, to excellent pedagogy, Christian identity and formation, and unwavering support of students' development in heart, mind, body, and soul. Dr. Winkler, thank you for your nearly four decades of service to the students of Concordia. Congratulations and best wishes as you move into this new vocation in life. Chris, you gotta stand up. And now students, we're ready to award the degrees to the soon to be graduates. After the general conferral of degrees, each group of candidates will be called to the front to receive your certificates, indicating another step in your journey. Students, please do not move your tassels from the right side of your cap until told to do so later in the service. Assistant Marshals and the candidates for all graduate degrees and bachelor's degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Business and Communication, the College of Education, and the College of Health Sciences, please stand and remain standing. That's all of you students, stand up. <laughs> Dr. Christian, as provost, I am privileged and honored on behalf of the faculty to present to you these candidates. I can vouch that each of these candidates has, or will soon have, completed the degree requirements as set forth by Concordia University, Texas, and have been assessed by the faculty to have attained an acceptable level of mastery of these requirements. We hereby present them to you to be recognized for their academic accomplishments. Dr. Kirk, I gladly accept these candidates and concur with the assessments made as to their achievement. Now pending final verification that all criteria will be met by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas and our Board of Regents of Concordia University, Texas, I hereby confer upon each and every one of you your degrees with all the rights, honors, privileges, and obligations thereto unpertaining. The certificate of the university will forever be the testimony of your accomplishments. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You may be seated. Assist Assistant Marshal Bloom, please escort the new candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degrees from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences to the stage to receive their certificates. Alexis Amaro. Katie Beck. Phil Bijou. Carrie McEachern, cum laude. Dejan Loving. Kanisha Jones. Jaden Hernandez. Peggy Hegigatfar, cum laude. Isaias Guzman. Sarah Gormley, summa cum laude. Isbeth Guerra, summa cum laude. Karen Ferris. Brandon Emmerich, cum laude.
Michael Emmerich. Charles Dial, summa cum laude. Zachary Bryant Amos. Allison Berta. Emily Michaels, cum laude. Tracy O'Bannon, magna cum laude. Anna Karen Rivera Salazar. Drusilla Robertson. Liza Sandoval Saavedra. Alexis Torres. Jennifer Trudel. Michael Williams II. Marshall Moyer, please escort the new candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees from the School of Natural and Applied Sciences to the stage to receive their recognition. Brian Barrera. <laughs> Natalie Cardenas. <laughs> Jared Davenport. <laughs> Mario Alberto Adonis Martinez. Jenny Polis, magna cum laude. Benjamin McDonald. Stephanie Gazada, magna cum laude. Ryan Simon. Devin Stewart. Jared Vickers. Assistant Marshal Meineke, please escort the new candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degrees from the School of Ministry and the School of Fine Arts to the stage to receive their recognition. Kiera Collins. <laughs> Avery Taylor, cum laude.
Assistant Marshal Hostager, please escort the new candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree from the College of Communication, Business and Communication to the stage to be hooded. Alexandra Andres. Lori Baker. Rebecca Cardenas. Marvin Cole Cheney. Tony Colvin. Armando De Seras. Brianna. Brianna Dickinson. Vincent Henderson. Ashley Hibbets. Jennifer Houston. Caitlin Hudson. Amelia Johnson. Jordan Kennedy. Reagan Lane. J. Matthew McCaughlin. Christina Ranami Olali. Sean Phillips. Eleni Zemenu. <laughs> Elaine Tangin. Assistant Marshal Skuratova, please escort the new candidates for the Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, the Bachelor of Arts, and the Bachelor of Business Administration degrees from the College of Business and Communication to receive their certificates. Muskan Ashraf. <laughs> Teresa Hayes, cum laude. Daisy Gonzalez. Emma Lehman. <laughs> Natalie Marquez, summa cum laude. Taylor Morrison, magna cum laude. Demika Quiller. Adriana. 
Adriana Boyd, summa cum laude. Mason Dubois. Preston Galvin. Sean Aman, cum laude. Taylor Benningfield. Matthew Bushik, summa cum laude. Ekaterina. Ekaterina Casillas. Sarah Conley, cum laude. Miranda Essing, magna cum laude. Crystal Gonzalez. Jamie Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Corbin Hayes. Taylor Kilburn, summa cum laude. Grace Landry, summa cum laude. Jose Loya. Wabana Mancho. Bailey Price. Kayla Reed, summa cum laude. Paola Saceda, cum laude. Robert Vacker. Abby Watley, magna cum laude. Assistant Marshal Einfeldt, please escort the new candidates for the Doctorate of Education and the Master of Education degrees from the College of Education to be hooded. Dissertation title, Disruptive Behaviors, K through fifth Teachers' Understandings, Attitudes, Beliefs, and Resulting Strategy Implementation, a Phenomenological Study, Dr. Tamika Allen. Dissertation title, A Comparison Between Bilingual Early Exit Model Program Outcomes and a Dual Language Two-Way Model Program Outcomes. Dr. Marlene Alonso Rodriguez.
Dissertation title, The Effects of Restorative Practice on Students in a South Texas Middle School. Dr. Carmen Castaneda. <laughs> Dissertation title, Case Study of black male teachers in the academic advancement of black students in a low socioeconomic school. Dr. Patrice Garman. <laughs> Dissertation title, a qualitative case study assessing the teacher's perceptions of professional development beneficial for teaching in inclusive elementary classrooms. Dr. Shamika Polk. <laughs> Dissertation title, an existential phenomenological study of university student interaction with a social educational robot. Dr. Maria Gomez Rochelle. <laughs> Dissertation title, A Case Study of a Public School Partnership, Perceptions of the Sense of Community Within the Partnership Organization. Dr. Sarah Sponsel. Dissertation title, English Teacher's Perceptions of Gamification in a Suburban Texas School District. Dr. Ronnie Stewart. <laughs> Lauren Alvarado. Robin Ammons. Michelle Barrera. Kevin Brown. Heather Cassiano. Elliot Chapa. Christian Colston. Kimberly Curry. Connor Doherty. Monica Fernandez. Calvin Flood. Janet Ford. Janet Ford. Heather Gomez. Joseph Gonzalez. Alma Gutierrez. Sonia Gutierrez. Cassandra? 
Cassandra Hernandez. Sarah Higgins. Toyshima Holly. <laughs> Sandra Jones. Camilla Kelly. Carla Maldonado. Sochel Wahitel Marin. Kerry O'Neill. <laughs> Alyssa Flugler. <laughs> Marina Ramirez. Angela Reed. Griselda Rosales. Eric Sanchez. John Sanchez. Rebecca Saucedo. Jocelyn Sigler. Aaron Smith. <laughs> Carrie Lynn Thrash. Iliana. Iliana Elisa Torres. Ebony Vernado. Daniel Winkler. Mariah Wood. Assistant Marshal Troval, please escort the new candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degrees from the College of Education to receive their recognition. Daniel Bolani. Kindle Crawford. Danilovich. Nina Danilovich, cum laude. Molly Oviedo.
Assistant Marshal Rodel, please es escort the new candidates for the Master of Public Health degree from the College of Health Sciences to be hooded. Anulawapu Odejewan. <laughs> Ursula Ballard. <laughs> Sonia Bisong. Rebecca Groman. <laughs> Rathina Kamari Kanan. <laughs> Cynthia Kiri. <laughs> Georgia Kiros. Chantrell Randolph. Abdulaziz Suleiman. Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Anna Maria West. Assistant Marshal Rowlett, please escort the new candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science, and the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees from the College of Health Science to be recognized. Tanya Flores. <laughs> Kylexis Block. <laughs> Carolyn Hunter. Gotcha. Connor Keckley, summa cum laude. Samantha Lopez. Carlos Ramirez, cum laude. Bailey Tisdale. Lisa Adames. Mackenzie Aguirre. Susanna Amos. Christian Anderson, cum laude. Amanda Barba. Amanda Alvarado Mancada, cum laude. Destiny Alvarez, magna cum laude. Yasmin Bautista Jaimez. Shantavia Beverly.
Kiana Bonner, cum laude. Lauren Braswell, magna cum laude. Paige Brimmer, cum laude. Lindsay Bureau. Vanessa Cabrales. Monica Camacho. <laughs> Alyssa Castiano. <laughs> yep. Adriana Torres Coinfegos. <laughs> Elizabeth Cole. Hunter Corral, cum laude. Antoinette Cruz. Andrea Dai, cum laude. Dahlia, Dahlia. Morgan Dalio. Esther Daniels. Brenda David. Ashton. Ashton Dilworth, cum laude. Alma Duarte Arazo. Maria Duarte Arazo, cum laude. Sabina Federlin, magna cum laude. Rachel Flores. Dorothy Floyd, cum laude. Stephanie Franz. <laughs> Abigail Garza. <laughs> Jacqueline Goodson. <laughs> Natalie Gonzalez, cum laude. Tyler Grishkowski. Hama. Hama. Megan Hama, magna cum laude. Kylie Harmon, magna cum laude. Alyssa Hernandez. Ivy Jennings, cum laude. Kaylin. Kaylin Johnson. <laughs> Abigail Jones. <laughs> Tori Jones. Ketchichin? Ketchichin. Carla Ketchichin. <laughs> Somaya Kianpur. Jeannie Kim, cum laude.
Krishana Laborte. Kish Krishana Laborte. Alice Lee. Irene. Irene Lopera Villanueva, cum laude. Zenet Loya, cum laude. Addison Machen Gray, cum laude. Celine Manawang, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Martinez Aguirre. <laughs> Jalisa Torres. <laughs> Taylor Milburn, cum laude. Alejandra Morales Vizcaya. <laughs> Kayla Morris. <laughs> Elizabeth Molina Gallardo, cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Ponce. Bianca Phelps. Bianca Phelps. <laughs> Tiffany Polk. Franken. <laughs> Noel Renkin, cum laude. Satoria Ray. <laughs> Elena Regmi, cum laude. <laughs> Zenaida Reyes. Osmara Rios, cum laude. Aliana Roach. Carrot Robinson. Juana Robles. Marielle Salinas. Maria Sanchez. Laura Saucedo. Emma Sierra. <laughs> Alyssa Smith, cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Roach, cum laude. <laughs> Riley Smith, cum laude. Megan Stewie, magna cum laude. Andrea? Andrea Sosa. Jose Manuel Sosa Soto. Marcia? T? 
Marchura Tib. Anessa Tobias. Brandon Torres, cum laude. Sky Taylor. Elizabeth Talley. Caitlin Turner, cum laude. Oliver Urbina. <laughs> Jennifer Erdialis Castro. Janae. Janae Valencia. <laughs> Julia Valone. Lauren Varesic, cum laude. Brianna. Brianna Vasquez. Marilyn Viatoro, cum laude. Panming Wang. <laughs> Jin Wu <laughs> Cynthia Uzogu, cum laude Amy Villarreal, cum laude Devin Wilson. Eva Michelle. Eva Michelle Wilson. Christian Kagami. Alexis Watson. Summa cum laude. Ramesh Bishta, cum laude. In many ways, I really didn't want that party to end. Are there another 300 people out there I could shake hands with because that was really fun? Thank you all very much. You know, today would not be possible without some very important people who are in this room and outside of this room. A special thanks goes to those of you seated, listening, watching, thinking, who have supported our students during this transformational time in their lives. Your parents, your spouses, your children, your friends, your grandparents, and other family members and friends, you all are to be commended. Graduates, will you give all those people a big hand? <laughs> Thanks goes to our Concordia Board of Regents members who helped to assure that the quality of this education. Thanks to those people who over many, many years, both past and present, have been supporters and financial contributors to Concordia, and have provided scholarships and other opportunities for our students. 
I hope each of you will continue in their footsteps over the years ahead. And thanks goes to the men and women you see seated behind me and seated among our graduates. They are the ones who make this happen on a daily basis as our students engage with our faculty to learn, to grow, and to be transformed. Would you all please give our faculty a big round of applause. And of course, a special thank you goes to all of our students and soon-to-be graduates. Thank you for entrusting us with your education over these years. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our Concordia Music Department for providing their contribution to the service of commencement. Great job. So this is the place where I get to go a little bit off script. As I sit here before the service of commencement begins, as I shake hands, as I look at the people out here and think of the stories which all of you have. There are 340 names in that program, 340 different graduates, 340 stories, and 340 people are entering the world to open the gates, not just for yourselves, but to take those keys and open those gates for others. Your vocation makes a difference. When I think about what Concordia does, it's not just what happens in the classroom, either on campus or online, but it's what happens when each of you engage in your vocation to serve others as you think critically, act compassionately, and lead courageously. I think of a young lady sitting out here who challenged the heck out of me as she walked in my office and told me about her life and asked me to help. I think of a set of twins who graduate today, who I met the very first day they walked on campus with their parents, and who made it through college and are gonna do amazing things in the world. I think of a brilliant young lady who is also the star of one of our, our, of our volleyball team, who led our team to great victories this year and did great things both in the classroom and on the court. I think of a young lady who graduated who received her fourth degree today for Concordia, her AA, her BA, her MBA, and today her EDD. She has entrusted her education to this place. I think of all of you who are the first in your family to graduate college and how you are making a difference for yourself, for your family, and maybe even more important, for your community. Because people will now look to you and say, I can do that. You have given me the keys in which I can pursue a college education. I think of our 230 nursing graduates who I heard from a lot of people. About four years ago, we were talking to the directors of nursing of both Seton Ascension and St. David's. And they described our nursing graduates as of course being competent, of course being leaders. But I asked, pushed a little more and they said, you know what's different about your nursing graduates? They're centered. And that makes all the difference when you look into patients' eyes and care for them. I also think of a gentleman, if I get through this, <laughs> who mentored me 40 plus years ago, whose, son, whose grandson walked across this stage today. Reverend Dr. David Stein, wherever you are, thank you for helping me become the person I am today. And as I've got to know his kids and now shook the hand of his grandson, will continue on in his tradition. And that makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> Last Thursday at our Lessons and Carols concert, the choir sang, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And it was done so well and so brilliantly. But as I look at each and every one of you, I think of that same thing. Each of you have been given both the keys and a light. The light of Jesus Christ, who shines in you and through you to others. You will share with people wherever you go, in management, in leadership, in nursing, in schools, in your homes, in your communities, wherever God puts you, whatever he has created you to do, you will make a difference and change people's lives. 
And I, on behalf of this place, thank you for that. Finally, I would be remiss if I did not tell all of you that I expect to be driving around Austin over the next couple weeks and see this on 350 plates and cars, all right? You have it, you use it. Let's hold them up. Where are they? Yeah, look at that. Oh. Thanks to our Alumni Association for providing that to you. Now, as we prepare to send you out on this journey of vocation, where you will continue to grow as people who think critically, act compassionately and lead courageously, and provide service to others, I would ask you as graduates to stand. There is a long honored tradition in the academy in which we physically show the world that we have made a journey from student to graduate. So now, would each of you please move your tassels from the right to the left side of your caps. Congratulations. Please remain standing, graduates. After the benediction, graduates, you will follow your assistant marshal out of the sanctuary. Guests and visitors, we ask that you please remain seated to honor our students until after they are exited. And now, please join us in prayer with our campus pastor, Reverend Jake Besslin. What a joy to be together. Let us pray. God, you who began this good work in our graduates, the Lord carry it to completion enabling them to use their gifts and their talents to the fullest in this world as they lead lives of critical thought, compassionate action, and courageous leadership. Father in heaven, please give them the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to their commitments, always confident in the support of those who love them and have helped them accomplish this amazing task. Lord, we give thanks to the Board of Regents, President Christian, Provost Kirk, our faculty, our staff, our Concordia alumni, and our student body. What a gift to each of our lives to be a part of such a supporting and loving community, Lord. May our beloved school continue to lead adaptive change so that more lives would be changed by receiving those keys. May God bless our graduates as they have gathered, they have grown, and now they go. That they may live lives full of the fruit of the Spirit, May their lives be marked by love, joy, peace, patience and kindness, goodness and faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. God of abundant life, always show these graduates your will and your way, no matter where they're led. What is life? Life is found in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive this benediction from God to you, graduates and beyond. May the Lord Jesus be near you to defend you, within you to refresh you, around you to preserve you, before you to guide you, behind you to save you, and above you to bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Everyone said, Amen, Amen and let's party. Give it up for them. Amen.